Okay. Yes, South Indian filter coffee. Where is it easy to hold? The other container, no? Other container, but yeah. the, that tumbler, where do we hold normally? Tumbler. And the rim. The rim. The top. Right. The top. The top. Yeah, but sometimes it's very difficult because you get coffee like this, almost spilling over. Uh, in some of the hotels, you get like that. So now the question is, why was it easier uh, to hold it on the rim? Than let's say a little bit down. Because the rim is not that hot. That hot. So there is a difference in the heat, right? So that's what uh, you find of the earth. At the equator, the sun rays fall directly, and that area is much hotter. But the area covered is also less. In this case, further away from equator, the sunlight falls at an angle, not really straight. It's straight would be here, but this is coming at an angle. So it's not so hot. Since these different regions of the earth are having different amount of heat, there is a kind of, uh, you know, convection current created. That's what I mean here by inferring. That's what you see here. <clears throat> so the hot air at the equator, you find that the hot air will rise because it's very hot hot air will tend to rise up because it's lighter and that will bring cold air from the surrounding parts and that creates a kind of uh, convection and that's what you see here basically the equ equatorial region will be low in pressure because the air is moving up now that's what happens this creates a kind of belts on the earth belts in the uh, the pressure belts equatorial low pressure and then you have these okay these are things we learn in the geography class in our school and coming to jupiter this is almost five times away compared to the earth from the sun and you see the orbit it takes around 12 years that means there will be uh, jupiter spends one year in each, sorry in each zodiac sign that will complete 12 years 12 zodiac signs and you find that outer temperature is very low. And this is call. the equatorial, yeah, representing call. distances from the sun. Now coming to the main thing, uh, Jupiter basically is, is, is non-terrestrial planet. So these are part of the Jovian planet. So these are basically more of the gases made of gas. In case of Jupiter, it's made of, after the gaseous uh, outer layer, there is liquid hydrogen, metallic hydrogen, rather helium and liquid metallic hydrogen. That's the main component here. And core is very small. Okay. And <clears throat> that's about the composition. And why we see bands, that's what we are usually, we remember Jupiter with this kind of a picture. Is having some light and dark strips or stripes, which are actually called zones and belts. And this white thing is the cold light colored high altitude gas that is similar to our equator where it's the, uh, you know, uh, hotter air. That's where similarly here, those which have hotter gas will be light colored and the belts are the dark colored, which are low altitude gas. And that's uh, the reason we see uh, kind of stripes in Jupiter. And this kind of, this is a famous red spot. These, and similar, you see white also here, like this oval shape. These are actually storms, storms due to that uh, conditions that are created due to the uh, pressure. Similar to our storms on the earth, there are storms in the Jupiter. And these actually change with time. This is actually at present half the size of what it was. Uh, 300 years back. And this is the other point I had. Uh, Jupiter actually has its own energy. That means uh, it is said that it is still not cooled down after its creation formation in the solar system. It is still giving out heat. But for our planets, Earth, Venus, you know, Mars, we 
we don't have any our own heat from the earth and uh, mostly our heat is only due to the sun but it's not so in case of jupiter that's something unique okay 